We can't do without tricks at school. Make it easy! Watch the most amazing back-to-school DIYs and life hacks in this video. I have a secret snack, cotton candy. I treat my friend and want to play a little. First of all, I roll cotton candy into balls. Take apart a pen to get an empty barrel. Use the pen as a straw, blowing it directing the stream of air onto a ball. The winner blows the ball the furthest. I've come up with a cotton candy tournament, but my friends turned into a nerd, desperately taking notes. So I blow a ball on her side of the field. Well, the game has started. The girls keep blowing onto the cotton candy balls as hard as they can through their pens. But when there is not enough air in their lungs, they start wrestling. And this game is not for the faint-hearted. A cup catapult to hit the teacher. Cut off the bottoms of plastic cups with a heated knife. Attach decorative tape to the edge. Tie knots on balloons and cut off the tops. Pull the balloons onto the top part of the cups. Put a light table tennis ball into each. Pull the balloon and shoot with the ball. The girls are getting ready, aim, fire! The shot flies directly into the enemy's camp. Miss Smith survives bombing with courage and she prepares to fight back. Redhead takes out a new game, Bubble Mahjong. Take a piece of bubble wrap. Draw different symbols on the bubbles with a permanent marker. They should be repeated from time to time. Find identical symbols and pop the bubbles. We start playing with enthusiasm, popping identical bubbles one after another. But I lose control soon. I'm feeling stressed out instead of calmed down because of this bubble game. At the end of the day, I squeeze the game field and throw it away. Now I need a new calming game. Once her friend is so stressed out, then Redhead offers another game, Bright and Edible Skittles Checkers. Draw a field for checkers on a square of rice paper using a food marker. The field may have 10 cells across and lengthwise, or 8 cells as the one we have. Shade the cells to make a checkerboard. Take yellow and red candies out of a Skittles package. They will serve as checkers. Put them in the corners of the field for playing. The friends start playing, but Miss Smith keeps an eye on the desk. While Redhead is making a wide, diversionary maneuver, I have nothing better to do than to eat all the evidence. I probably broke the record on speed eating the rice paper and Skittles. All the evidence of the game is destroyed. Miss Smith goes away empty-handed. I have never eaten candy so fast in my life. Are your fingers covered with paint again when your art classes are over? Have they gotten too weak to hold a brush? Let's make a funny portable finger twister. Play and relax. Take a piece of white cardboard and cut out a square of 5 inches by 5 inches. Mark out a grid for color circles. Draw 16 little circles in rows of four each. Use a different color for each row. Mark eight cells on each side of the square. Put color circles in the grid. Dip your thumb in paint and stamp it on the paper. Use four colors, red, blue, yellow, and green. Leave an empty cell between each print. When the paint dries, erase the pencil grid. Round the corners of the playing field. Now, make a spinner. Cut out a 4 inch diameter circle. Divide it into 4 sectors. Put 4 colored circles in each and indicate the fingers to be used. Attach a cardboard arrow in the center using a push pin. Tack it into an eraser on the bottom. Now, spin the spinner! I put my middle finger on red. My friend should put her finger on yellow. Then she puts her index finger on blue. And my elbow almost hits her nose. What a serious finger twister fight unfolds on such a tiny playing field? Be careful to keep your fingers safe, though the break has surely been great fun. Now it's high time for a basketball game, but where can we get a basket? It's easy, let's conjure a paper one. 
Fold A4 paper at an angle. Turn the other corner to the opposite side. Then fold the paper at the cross point of the diagonals. Make a triangle folding the paper along the creases. Turn the bottom sides to the center. Put the top corners into each other to form a basket. Unfold the sides and put the basket on the desktop. Crumple color paper to make balls. We throw the balls into the basket in turns. Well, we still have to train our accuracy, but my friend manages to shoot a three-pointer. Miss Smith likes playing sports games. She tries to pass an over-the-shoulder throw. Come on, Miss Smith! But the wind must have blown off the ball so that the shot misses the target. Never mind, Miss Smith. Our cheerleaders are still on your side. Christy is dreaming about something yummy in class. It seems like there is still some chocolate left in her pencil case. But you can't just go ahead and eat your well-deserved carbs when Miss Smith is around. She takes away everything that smells nice, just like a tiger on a hunt. Then she will have to act undercover. It's the perfect time to take out a chocolate notebook with chocolate milk. Cut a sheet of foam plastic to fit a notebook. Make a hole inside of it for a carton of chocolate milk. Put in the carton and cut out a strip for a straw. Hot glue the foam plastic to the notebook. Measure four squares to fit the width of the notebook. Make sure you leave little gaps between them. Cut the needed amount of squares from foam plastic. Make the foam plastic look like a bar of chocolate. Hot glue the squares to the notebook. Cut off the excess to leave the carton hole free. Paint the foam plastic brown. Color the notebook too. Put the milk carton inside. I drink chocolate milk straight from my notebook and I don't need to wait for a break. Miss Smith feels that something is wrong and even gets distracted from a giraffe. Calm down, tiger lady. It's just a notebook. It's not food. The teacher doesn't forbid school supplies in class. The girls are fed up with writing. Their hands and brains got tired. But Jessica seems to know what to do. Let's arrange a domino battle. Cover little notebooks of the same sizes with a foam rubber sheet. Copy a domino pattern on each one. Attach black foam rubber strips and dots. The game is in full swing. The victory in the first World School Contest on Notebook Domino is on the line. But Miss Smith is not fond of gambling in class. She puts an end to the game with a nice fall. Watch your step, Miss Smith! We are having a class with Mr. Sebastian de Franz. The mess at the teacher's desk doesn't sit well with his perfectionism. This is some kind of school supplies chaos. A tutorial on how to spring clean starts. The girls understand that they have to save their teacher. Otherwise, everyone will get stressed. Let's calm him down with our stress relief busy board. Hot glue a net to a foam rubber sheet. Cut off the excess and braid in a few thin satin ribbons. Cut silhouettes of clothing items out of a foam rubber sheet. Stick some push pins into a half of a foam plastic ball. Put foam rubber strips into a side release buckle and fasten them with hot glue. Attach ribbons for braiding, a zipper, toys, jigsaw puzzles, an abacus, a foam plastic ball with push pins, a sponge, a squishy, a box with slime, a buckle, and a lock. Attach a rope and hang clothes on it with decorative clothes pins. This ring binder is full of ideas to calm down your nerves and fingers. You can click, squeeze, twist, and flip. Mr. DeFranz should take a break from his everyday routine. And meanwhile, we will take care of cleaning. Sebastian loves our stress relief binder. If his mood gets better, then our grades might get better too. I've made so many graphs for my school life that my pencils turned into a little piece. It's a pity. 
I've gotten so used to it. My friend knows a life hack. She suggests joining two pencil pieces to make an awesome double-sided writing tool. Take two little pencil pieces. Take a glittered glue stick and cut off the excess. Make a hole at the end of the stick using a hot glue gun nozzle. Put in the pencil. Smooth the edges to glue it better. Repeat for the other end. Here's your new double-sided pencil. It's a practical, glamorous-looking school supply. Enjoy drawing your graphs using this double pencil glue stick. You can make them colored or black and white. All you need is just to turn over your pencil stick. Be sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and click the bell so you don't miss the most interesting hacks and DIYs.